Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Mustaqim bin Ismail. First of all, what is ratio analysis? Ratio analysis is an analytical way of determining the company profitability, company liquidity, and operational efficiency by analyzing financial statement including the balance sheet and income statement. This information ratio analysis can be used to compare a financial position of a company to industry average. In this case, we will discuss Telecom Malaysia Berhad, in short, TM. TM is a telecommunication company found in 1984. The vision of this company is life and business easier for better Malaysia. TM is a top telecom firm because they have more than 4.6 million access line in the fixed lines telecom sector in the country. So, this company is the largest cellular phones provider in Malaysia because having a quiet technology resource industry in bracket 3 and its Cellcom mobile phone division in 2003. As proof, Cellcom has a market share of over 13% in Malaysia cellular market. TM also owns and operated TMNet which is the country leading internet service provider and the country only broadband provider. Other than that, TM has created a global network of subsidiary and investment which encompasses of the Asian region, especially in Malaysia. So I will start with liquidity ratio which consists of current ratio, quick ratio and net capital working. By evaluating the uh, financial statement of the Telecom Malaysia company, the current ratio is decreased from 2019 to 2020 with among 1.33 times and 1.38 times each. As we know, a current ratio of more than 1.5 times is considered strong financial help by some analysts. A high current ratio, on the other hand, may indicate that cash is not being used efficiently. Based on the data analysis, the quit ratio is slightly less from the year 2019 to 2020 with among 1.32 times and 1.26 times each. It may be favorable if a company's ability to readily convert its inventory into cash at fair value is in doubt. Otherwise, the current ratio may overstate its liquidity position. The net capital working is 2,115 ringgit mentioned in 2019, which is less than year 2020. Next is the efficiency ratio. The inventory turnover in 2019 to 2020 is less from 23.02 times to 24.06 times. A lower inventory turnover ratio implies that the company's stock is not well managed. It could be overstocked or experiencing sale difficulties. A higher inventory turnover ratio is always preferable because it signifies that inventory does not sit on shelf for long periods of time but radio rotates often. The average collection period is also decreased from 2019 to 2020 with about 77 days and 65 days each. The total assets turnover has no change from 2019 to 2020 which is 0 0.45 times. The total assets turnover ratio is difficult to interpret. This is because number of factors influence this ratio including the company's life cycle, the life cycle of a product, initial plan capacity and relative sales. This ratio is also affected by factors such as asset evaluation which is depreciation accounting, the time of a firm's asset purchase and so on. Leverage ratio is any kind of financial ratio that indicates the level of debts incurred by a business entity against several other accounts in its balance sheets, income statements, or cash flow statements. This ratio provides an indication of how the company's assets and business operations are financed using debts or equity. In 2019, debt ratio of TM company is 0 0.74 and had a decrease 0 
0.71 in 2020. This show that TM companies have a lower amount of debts to financial assets compared to last year, 2019. Next, debt to equity in TM company recorded a lower number of ratio in 2020 with 2.50 compared to 2019 with 2.91. This result show that TM company have a more financially stable business as it indicates a lower amount of financing by debts. Last but not least, time interest earned in TM company rose up from 2.52 in 2019 to 4.53 in 2020. This result show that TM company present less of a risk to investor and creditor in terms of solvency as a higher ratio indicates that the company can meet loan requirement and lower risk of default. It can be said that TM company had an increase on performance as three of measurement indicator get a positive result. Net profit margin, return on equity and return on asset formula have been used in this profitability ratio. Next, profit margin at TM Company in 2019 recorded 6.31% and had an increase in 2020 which is 8.30% as the increase was 1%. 0.99%. The high ratio indicates better income to shareholder. A higher net profit margin in 2020 compared 2019 indicates that a business is able to effectively control its cost or provide goods or services at price significantly higher than its cost. Next. Return on equity in 2020 had an increase to 11.10% from 9.84% in 2019. This shows that the company is more effectively at generating profit from its existing assets. Last but not least, in 2019, return on asset in TM recorded 2.52% and slightly increase in 2020, 3.20%. This show that the M company in 2020 had a higher return on firm investment. It can conclude that TM is performing well by generating revenues, profit, and cash flow. And it can be said that TM company had an increase on performance as three of majority men get a positive result. As we know, there is a lot of ways to improve the liquidity ratio. One of the ways is the manager can control the overhead costs. They may be able to lower various sorts of overhead, such as rent, utilities, and insurance. Next, the manager can change their payment terms. They can ask with their vendors about the early payment discounts. The higher the ratio, the healthier the business. So, the manager can increase revenue and decrease the expenses to achieve the target of the company and serve more customers. Leverage ratios and profitability ratio provide an indication of long-term solvency of a company. It's important to keep in mind that ratios are only one way to determine your financial performance. The company have to analyze the underlying data to establish the cost of the downturns and create solution for improvement. Beyond what industry a company is in, location can also be important. 
regional differences in factors such as labor or shipping costs may also affect the result and the significance of the ratio. Some financial analysis always entails closely examining the data used to establish the ratios as well as assessing the circumstance that generated the result. In conclusion, financial ratio and analysis are important factors in determining a company before, during and future position. It can also tell whether a company financial position and condition are in a healthy or otherwise. There are all five categories of financial ratio which are liquidity, leverage, activity, profitability and market which were discussed by my group member just now. The information in generating this ratio is taken from the financial statement or more detail in the balance sheet and income statement. For that, this data must release correctly without any mistake because this information will be used by certain par parties who are interested in a company. So, when the condition of company is stable, it will attract the investor to continue investing in the company in order to get a good return to it as well. For that, our company all companies need to compete with each other in their respective sector to continue to thrive and raise the company reputation. Thank you.